So when you think about waves clarity, you probably think of a way to remove background noise, but it's also useful for removing other kinds of background noise like music, including copyrighted music. And this can be an important thing to do uh, if you monetize videos on YouTube. So let me show you an example here. Now I can't play much of this because this song is copyrighted. You hear that? I can't, again, I can't play much. Now it's all throughout this dialogue here. Now this is from uh, Call of Duty. Um, this is Black, uh, Cold War Black Ops, right? 15 minutes. So you can hear it in the background there. You can really hear it here. Right, so I can't, I can't play much because it is copyrighted. Now, if you played this game all the way through and you just went to upload it to YouTube, uh, you're not going to be able to monetize it uh, because the, the label is going to take 100% of the money. Even if you have an eight-hour playthrough, it doesn't matter. They get 100% of the money, even though this song lasts uh, about 30 seconds. Okay, so let me show you how you can remove that, remove copyrighted music from your audio tracks, from your voice tracks, your dialogue tracks very easily with uh, Waves Clarity. All right, so I already have it instantiated here on this track, let me pull up the interface here. And we'll start with this on Broad 1, which is the default. And it's probably not gonna work very well here on Broad 1, let's see. Okay, I can still hear it, still hear it. Hello. Okay, I can still hear too many fragments. And that's because the Broad 1 setting here is most useful for keeping voice detail and secondary speech, okay? So being that we have singing in this song, uh, that's going to be secondary speech. So what we want is broad two. And with this neural network, it's better for the severe ambience and it keeps mostly the main voices or the close mic voices. Okay, so let's use this here. Try this out here. Glad you could join us. Huh? Pull it up a little bit more, kind of a lot more, and that should do it. So now we have silence there pretty much. A little bit bleeding through. Hello. Glad you could join us, Hans. You remember, Macy. So we have kept the dialogue track and removed that copyrighted sound, that music. So I turn this off and play it back. We clear to move on the target. You can, you can hear all of that going on. Again, it's a copyrighted song. It's uh, The Stroke by Billy Squire. So let me turn this back on here. Yeah, see him is in his apartment, but he's well protected. And keep my men out of the area. So. You know, it may not be 100% perfect, but again, if you spend a lot of time recording gameplay video, podcast, whatever, and there's copyrighted music in it, it's better to have it not quite perfect, but be able to monetize uh, your video. For 15 minutes. We hope you brought an army. So that's much, much better. I can actually post this and uh, monetize it. So in this area here is just music. You see, it's done very, very good at pulling that out. So if I turn that off. You can hear all of it right there. Again, I can't play much of it because it is copyrighted. So again, you do gameplay videos, you do podcasts. You know, if, you do, if you're doing a podcast from uh, a political convention, you know, they are, they're always playing copyrighted music or if you're a football game, baseball game, whatever. Uh, you're doing some podcast maybe on your phone or something. Some copyrighted music bleeds through. You go to post that on YouTube and YouTube goes, hey, you can't monetize this. The label's going to take 100% of your money. And that's why it's important to remove that copyrighted music, because even if you have, let's say you have a uh, three hour podcast that was filmed live at some baseball stadium, but uh, you know, 45 seconds of some copyrighted song bleeds through into your content. Guess what? The label gets 100% of that money and you get zero. <laughs> okay. You get zero. Now, listen, if YouTube had a better deal where it's like, Hey, you have a three hour video and you can hear copyrighted music for uh, you know, 35 seconds. So we're going to take a portion of this, a percentage and give that to the label. That would be completely fair, but that's not how it works. So if you're any kind of a content creator, you absolutely need something like, uh, you know, waves clarity VX here. So let me show you another example here. That's not using copyrighted music here. So we can actually play, uh, a bit more. So, and by the way there, I was using it in DaVinci resolve, which is a video editor. So you can use, you know, you can use clarity and anything, that's gonna that's compatible with your VSTs or your AUs or your AAXs. So right here, we have even louder music now. All right, so that is it, folks. The entire campaign here in Call of Duty. So let's say again that that was copyrighted music. Now it's not actually copyrighted music, but let's just say that it was. We're gonna do the same thing here. We'll go over it again here. So right now, again, it's on broad one, probably not gonna work, but let's see. All right, so that is it, folks. The entire campaign here in Call of Duty.
Black Ops. Okay, so especially when the voice starts here, oh, it lets all of that through, and that's gonna get you copyright struck in a second. So let's go over to Broad 2, which again, uh, keeps mainly the uh, close voice, so the close mic, and that should get it. You could also mess with single and change your width around here. Entire campaign here in Call of Duty. Black Ops. Old War. Play so that's a lot better. Call of Duty. Black. Right, turn it off. Call of Duty. Black Ops. Right, so we pulled all of that out. Campaign here in Call of Duty. Black Ops. Again, there are, there's going to be some artifacts, but once again, I think it's better to have a few artifacts and a couple places in your video, as if you have a long three hour video, it's better to have a few places of artifacts than not being able to monetize your work. All right, so if you wanna pick up Waves Clarity VX for yourself, of course, I will have links in the description below. And again, I highly recommend it for anybody that's a podcaster, if you're a video gamer, or if you're just a content creator in general, anytime you have copyrighted music slip through into your, you know, your longer form content, again, man, those labels are gonna take 100% of your work, 100% of that money. So don't let them take your hard work away from you. Get Waves Clarity VX, quickly pull out any of that copyrighted music and collect the money that you deserve from all the work that you've put in to uh, you know creating your content. Again, pick it up for yourself, link in the description below.